fall I will follow Wow If you fall I will follow So me and my boyfriend have come away for a few nights um, to this beautiful Airbnb it is so stunning and I wanted to show you guys around a little bit. Look at this table. Oh my god, beautiful. The high ceilings I'm particularly loving. It has aircon and a fan. How do you flush the toilet? <gasps> this. What do you do? Oh, the whole thing? The whole thing. <laughs> How cool is that? Well, they built into the wall. That's a nice bin. Yeah, it's a nice bin. Oh. Exist no shadow in the dark. Exist no shadow. I have a question. Yeah? I'm gonna do a hair treatment this morning. Mm -hmm. You can have some if you want. Okay. <laughs> If you've been following me for a little while, you might know that our houses look the same for three years. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say that I I like to switch furniture up a little bit. I do it in my bedroom quite often. However, I've never really done it in the living room. When you walk in, we have the kitchen over here, and then we have the dining, and we have the living, right? But what if this was like switched up? Stay with me, okay? I know what you're thinking. No, but I think it could work because then if we have the couch like maybe along here and the TV there, it also could be really great to be able to like watch TV while you're like cooking and cleaning up and stuff. And then we could have the dining out there and it could kind of like open up onto the deck. Different energy. I think I need to see it to believe it. Yeah, I think I do too. Like Look, it I'm, could be I'm an really absolute struggling. no, That's but I just need to try it. I love doing things like this. I know, I'm like literally like, is there this has like in this, space. Has, this has the same energy as like when I used to play with my Barbies and um but like actually what I would do is I wouldn't actually play with the dolls. Oh I would God, so every single time I played with them, I would pretend that there was a robber in the house and I would like destroy the kitchen and the bedrooms and everything because I had like a whole little kitchen with a little fridge and it had like all little like milk and like little yeah. things in it. Yeah. And, so you and then I had to put, put the, I, then I had to put the house back together. <laughs> so and that has this is has this has same energy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This has same energy. I think put that it, like pull it apart to put it back together again. Exactly. That's a fun thing to do. It is fun. And worst case scenario, we put it all back and we've cleaned out literally everything that's like to be honest with you, like exactly. have we ever vacuumed under the that side of the couch? I don't know. No, I don't know. I'm so excited. Oh my god. Let's get into it. Into it. Well, sorry. Well, this is the Guys, do you know that we I, like it? This we? is like 100% my new spot. I'll be like, oh, <laughs> let me watch. <laughs> so much fun. Ah! 
I'm getting a kick out of the new buys, but I'm also getting a kick out of being able to clean properly. <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm just like, thank God. I like the idea of reorganizing that as well. <laughs> yes! Actually, we can pull it over a little bit that way. The lights are on. The lights oh my are on. Oh my God. I am... I'm completely obsessed. This is my, this is a favorite thing, most favorite thing we've ever done. Hello. 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 seat that there is and there isn't a bad one. Oh my god. Also on the on the on the on the benches I put little soft things so it doesn't make a noise oh, underneath. Okay. Yeah. You really upgraded the space. And the red it's elevated. Wait. It's elevated. And now you don't have to fucking put your laptop charger in the toilet. Right. You know, like, I know. You brought it up, I was like envisioning it and I was like, I think it'll look good. Mm -hmm. like, I don't know if it'll be as good yeah. as that. Well, That's it's exactly what everyone I've done some handy work. Oh my god. And I hid all wait, of the. Wait, that these. looks great. Oh my god, wait. I didn't even notice that. Yeah, I hid. I can see it. You're so oh, handy. I'm literally Thank obsessed you. with this. Thank you. You are a visionary. I know. What can I say? <laughs> now when we sit here, we're not just looking at that wall either. No, yeah. Like you can actually see the living room. Yeah. And then sitting oh here. You've got the view of the outside and the friends and the records. And you can stand That's there. Lovely. This and is beautiful. This is that more is open. It feels new. So nice. Why does this thing come shooting up? Just having a cup of tea um, in my new dining space, which I'm absolutely loving. And um, I was doing some journaling because I had therapy this morning and I love to journal after I've had therapy. It just helps me kind of process everything and also clarify my takeaway points. And it got me really inspired to have a bit of a chat with you guys. Um, and you know give you an update because i know that my last video was quite mental health focused and i was having a bit of a breakdown <laughs> which i am feeling a lot better and i think that's because i've been really implementing the things that i've been learning in therapy and i'm starting to feel mm, feel like really like things things are really sinking in <laughs> things that i'm learning are really sinking in and i'm feeling feeling different in the way that I react to things and the way that I feel. Um, so that's really nice. <laughs> and I was thinking about how a few videos, a few videos ago, I was um, talking to you guys about how I was doing like inner child work and reparenting in therapy. And a lot of you guys were asking me about that. So I thought I would share a little bit of that today because that's what I was talking about in therapy today. And I felt so good after, after talking about it. And I feel like it's probably been the most helpful tool in when it comes to therapy for me personally. And um, something that really, really resonates and really helps me a lot, I guess. So it's a bit of an interesting concept. It's called like uh, inner child healing or reparenting, where you're kind of trying to connect with your past self, your child self and maybe soothe yourself in ways that your parents might not have at the time. Because obviously we all have childhood stuff, we all have a bit of trauma from our parents regardless of how good or bad our childhood was. Obviously when we're children that's when we're forming our belief systems and our love languages and our uh, attachment styles I guess just so many things that we carry into our adult life when it comes to love and relationships and self-worth and you know etc if you don't know about attachment styles 
look them up, very helpful. <laughs> Especially when it comes to love and relationships. So this tool of healing the inner child is something that you use when you're feeling triggered. I'm gonna give you guys an example because I feel like that's the best way to kind of explain it. For example, I have a bit of an irrational fear of being at home by myself at night time. I know that I'm safe, logically, but the fear is still very, very, very present. I, you know, my heart might start racing if I hear a tiny sound, or I just can't sleep, or I feel like someone's gonna break in and hurt me. As a child, I spent a lot of time by myself at night, so that feeling of being alone really creeps into my adult life, even though that's not the case right now. Something I've been doing in therapy with my therapist is kind of activating that healthy adult in me and talking to my inner child in those moments where I feel scared. And that might look like putting my hand on my chest and comforting that inner child verbally, which kind of sounds really silly and stupid, but it's actually very powerful. Uh, kind of picture yourself as a child and your adult self talking to your child, to that child. <laughs> and you might say in this situation, I would say something like, um, you don't need to worry, you're safe now, you're okay, I'm here to protect you. Um, you, you know, you, just kind of soothing, soothing that child. Whatever you think you needed to hear as a child, that you maybe didn't get from your parents or a loved one. Uh, that's why it's called reparenting as well, because it's kind of, you know, being that, being that parent figure for yourself that you might have needed when you were younger. And you know, almost every time I do this, I feel a sense of relief. I feel the fear leave me. I feel relaxed. I feel confident. I feel strong in myself. It's a really, really powerful tool to kind of bring the power back into yourself, to not rely on anyone else to soothe you or to come and save you. I don't know, it's like a psychological hack. Honestly, it sounds silly, but it works. It really, really works. Um, so yeah, I don't know, look into it if you're interested because there can be a lot of different ways that you can use this tool and I don't even know if I've explained it perfectly well. Um, it can be a little bit confusing, especially if you're kind of new to therapy and the world of therapy and kind of dealing with different things. But that is one tip and tool that has helped me so, so much. And I don't know, I think that self-soothing and learning how to self-soothe can be so life-changing, um, whether it's, you know, something like being scared at home by yourself or whether it's, you know, self-worth or um, anxiety. So yeah, I've been doing a lot of that in therapy. I've been, um, we've been talking a lot about uh, you know different relationships in your life and how different people give you different things and that's okay you know not expecting one person to fulfill all of your needs and you know having different things come from friends and partners and you know yourself alone time hobbies my dog like my dog fills my cup in ways that no one else can <laughs> and that's okay you know it's it's uh, I've really been working on that really understanding that balance and um, also like the good and bad in things and how they coexist and that's okay. Um, yeah, those are some therapy points that I talked about today and um, have been working on recently and trying to apply into my life. I've also been reading this book or listening to this book um, called, oh, Atomic Habits such a good book wow really really changing my perspective on like routine and habits and just i know that they're important but this book has been really interesting so i've been listening to that on my on my walks with ari lately and feel like that always gets me in a really good mindset and kind of makes me feel in control in control of my thoughts in a in a motivating kind of encouraging way um so that's been one thing that's really been helping with my mental health re recently i feel thanks for hanging out with me guys i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you like the the new arrangement please let me know down below if you do um and our little trip to byron at the beginning of the vlog really will oh, leave the um, Airbnb linked down below if you guys are interested it was in Byron a beautiful beautiful place and um, just was like one of the best Airbnbs I've stayed at so I love sharing them when I find them um, but yeah I hope you guys are well let me know how you're doing 
down below in the comments and I'll see you soon. Bye. <laughs>